Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of integration where c is a curve mod z is equal to 1. So this is equation of circle with center origin and radius 1. So we have to find the value of this integration and we are going to use Cauchy's residue theorem to find its value. So let us write the given integral first, which we have already done. So this is a given integral. Let us write the c. Here, c here c is mod z is equal to 1. So this is the circle, you know. So let me write that thing. Circle. What is its center? So you know that the standard equation of circle is mod z minus z0 is equal to r. So z0 is a center. So here nothing is there. That means 0 is there. z minus 0. So the center is 0, 0. And radius, radius is a 1. Getting? So let me draw the circle. See, this is real axis this is imaginary axis we have a circle with center 0 0 radius 1 okay let us go further after that we have to focus on a function what we have here let me write the function f of z is equal to 1 upon z sin z okay so we have to find the singularities okay the points where the function is not analytic so normally you know that function is not analytic if the denominator will be 0 getting so see here singularities are singularities are are at z is equal to 0 if i put z is equal to 0 denominator will be 0 right if i put z is equal to uh, plus minus pi sin pi is 0 again denominator will be 0 plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi and so on so many singularities we will get but see we have to focus only on those singularities which lie inside a circle pi you know that value of pi is 22 by 7 so that means 3.142 getting so it goes outside 3 point what is the radius we have 1 only so 3 is greater than 1 so that's why that point will go outside and if you're thinking about remaining points, definitely they will go outside a circle. Getting so only one point, which is zero, which lies inside. Let me mention that thing here. Here, only z is equal to zero lies inside C, inside C, and remaining singularities, remaining singularities, singularities lie outside c okay outside c so that means we have to find residue only at z is equal to zero but before that we have to find order of that pole okay so here z is equal to zero z is equal to zero is a pole of order see can you tell me what is the order of this pole so maybe if you observe this function and you will see z pole of order 1 since z has a power 1, okay? But don't forget that sine 0 is also 0. That means I agree because of this z, denominator will be 0. But if I put z is equal to 0 again in sine 0, 0, so one more singularity will be generated, okay? So that means this is pole of order 1 and there is also one z is involved. So total it is a pole of order 2, getting? So it is a pole of order 2. So after that, we have to find residue. So for residue, we have three techniques. First, definition we have. Second, a formula for simple pole. And next, a formula for pole of order M. So we have a pole of order 2. So I should go for the second formula to find the residue. Okay. So there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. Let us find residue at Z is equal to 0. So I'm using the second formula. Getting so that means pole of order M. So you know the formula. 1 upon m minus 1 factorial but m is 2 so 2 minus 1 1 factorial limit z tends to 0 after that we write derivative right we write derivative so we have to take single derivative okay so uh, and z f of z sorry z square f of z actually z minus z not bracket square but z not is 0 so that's why simply i wrote z square let us put the value of f of z 1 upon 1 factorial is 1 no need to write limit z tends to 0 derivative of okay z square what is our f of z that is 1 upon z sin z okay so this is equal to limit z tends to 0 derivative of 
see one z will get cancelled and we will have z upon sin z right so after that what will i do we, we have to take derivative but there is numerator denominator we have to use u upon v formula to find its derivative let us use it now so this is equal to limit z tends to 0 so you know that u upon v formula denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator upon denominator square let us use sin z derivative of z is 1 minus z derivative of sin z is cos z divided by square of denominator so sin square z so this is equal to limit z tends to 0 okay so what will you get sin z minus z cos z divided by sin square z okay so this thing we have got so if i put z is equal to 0 we will have 0 upon 0 form so i'm going to use a hospitals rule so it will be limit z tends to 0 L hospitals rule says derivative of numerator you have to write at numerator derivative of denominator we have to write at denominator let us do derivative of sin z is cos z minus here u into v formula z derivative of cos z is minus sin z plus cos z as it is derivative of z is 1 divided by now we have to take derivative of denominator we have to write at denominator so this is 2 sin z and again derivative of sin z cos z so this is equal to limit z tends to 0 cos z minus minus plus sin z minus cos z because of this minus sign sign will get changed right divided by 2 sin z cos z so cos z minus cos z plus cos z will get cancelled and here also sin z sin z will get cancelled so this is equal to limit z tends to 0 we have only z at numerator and 2 cos z at denominator now if i apply the limit z will be 0 cos z cos 0 will be 1 so we will have 2 so which is equal to 0 so the value of uh, residue is 0 get it so in this way we calculated residue now i am going to use Koch's residue theorem to find the value of integration make a screenshot of it and then we will go further so let us apply Koch's residue formula it says value of integration is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues but see there is only one pole lies inside a circle so its residue we supposed to write its residue is 0 we have got let us put it here so this is equal to 2 pi i into 0 so the answer is 0 so that's the value of integration is 0 make a screenshot of it then we'll stop thank you bye bye